Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome if you're new here today. I'm gonna be filming a morning routine for college um, It's vlog style sort of but also like not vlog style. I don't really know what style it is I guess you'll see but I hope you guys like it If you did make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you get notified every single time I post Leave a like and a comment make sure you follow me on Instagram and then also follow me on Snapchat And yeah, who's excited for school because I very much am <laughs> Oh my gosh, hi, I'm doing a voiceover and this is crazy. So obviously, you know, when you're doing a morning routine, you're sleeping, so I have to wake up. <laughs> so here's me sleeping um, and then I'm gonna start waking up. Um, I usually like to wake up around 5 a.m. because I have a 7 a.m. class. And then the first thing that I do always is reach for my hydro flask because I need water. Like, I die without water. I don't know what it is about me that, like, constantly needs to consume water. But yeah, it's very important that I get water right when I wake up. And then, of course, I make my bed. I can't really focus or function without making my bed. It's like a 20 second task that really changes your day. And it's just like a very, it's the first thing you can check off your to-do list. And also my bed is in the corner. So I have to be like huddled up like this in order to make it. And it's honestly an everyday struggle. And then I also open my blinds to like let some light in my room, which is, you know, important. And then getting into my favorite part, my skincare. As you can see, I'm wearing a little kitty headband um, to keep my hair back, and then I'm going to start using the Tatcha Deep Cleanse Face Wash. I love this stuff. I will always keep rebuying it. I don't really have a need to use another face wash because I love it so much. It works so well, um, and at night, I use it to help me double cleanse, but in the morning, obviously, I don't need a double cleanse, so I will just use this, and then I just, you know, scrub a dub dub it into my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a towel and just pat my face dry. Make sure you don't rub your face dry. You don't want to do that. You don't want to dry out your skin and make wrinkles. That is no bueno. We are not here for that. And then I'm going to use the Dr. Jart Tiger Serum. I like this stuff. It is really nice. It's made for like sensitive skin like mine, which is really nice. Um, so I go ahead and put that on my skin. And then I'm going to use the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is my favorite eye cream. Literally no other eye creams work well except for this one. And I don't know what it is about it. But it literally does bright under my eyes. And I really enjoy using it. And I'm going to keep repurchasing it. And I'm very happy about it. <laughs> And then I use the Dr. Jart's um, gel. It's like the Tiger Grass Calming Gel Cream. It's also made for sensitive skin. A lot of moisturizers burn my skin. It's really annoying. This doesn't. It's very lightweight and it feels really nice. And I enjoy it in the mornings. Not at night, but in the mornings. It's a very nice cream. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I know it's for night, but I like using it in the morning too because my lips are always really dry when I wake up. And then I'm going to also use the Dr. Jart's like, Sensitive Skin. Like It's like a toner face mist stuff, um, and I really like it. So there's me just spraying it. And sorry that you can't see my face. I didn't realize that I was not in frame. So that's um, very awkward. But yeah, I like it. It's great. And then there's me smiling because I'm happy. And then now I'm going to start my makeup. I like to do very natural, easy makeup to school. So I start with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I like it because it's very lightweight and dewy and glowy. And it makes my face glow and shine. And it's just nice. And it has SPF, which is awesome. So I go ahead and just use a little beauty blender and blend this all into my skin. I didn't realize how long I did this for until I was editing. And I'm like, wow, I really spent a long time just like beating this into my face. But it's okay. This is me still doing it. <laughs> and then... To brighten up under my eyes even more, I use the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Concealer. And this is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So it's, I don't know how much it is. I think it's like a dollar or two. And it is amazing. I like it. I was scared to use it at first. But it, it's great. And it brightens up under my eyes a lot, which I enjoy because I have lots of bags. So that's really nice. And then after that, I set everything with my Hourglass um, powder. I like it because it's very lightweight. It's not thick like the translucent powders. I used translucent powder for so long, and then I stopped using it because it dried out my dry skin even more. And I like this one because it's a pressed powder, so it's a lot more lightweight, but it also has a little bit of shine to it, which is really nice and makes my skin very dewy. So love that stuff. Then I use my Marc Jacobs blush. It's in the color, I think it's called like Kinks and Kisses or something like that. I've been using this for years. I love it. It is so pretty when you put it on. And I tend to like applying my blush a little bit higher on my cheeks and then a little bit on my nose too to kind of like make it look like I was in the sun for a long time. I really like it. It makes it look more natural in my opinion. 
And then lastly for my face, I do highlighter and I use the Fenty Beauty highlighter and this is in Kilowatt. And I always, I used, I usually like mix the shades. I'm not, yeah, I usually mix them a little bit. And then I just put it on my cheeks and then on the tip of my nose to kind of add a little bit more glow to my skin, make me look healthy and alive and happy even though I'm tired and dying because I wake up so early, but it's okay. And then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette, which is literally the best palette ever. I love this palette. It is like the ride or die palette. And then I use a like shimmery light sparkly shade. I have no idea what it's called. Um, and I put that on just my eyelids. And I usually will only do that because I don't want to put too much makeup on because I'm at school. And then I do a really thin line of eyeliner across my eyes and I have no idea how people film this. I was like struggling so hard like so I couldn't really show it and I'm sorry but it was just like really difficult like props to beauty gurus because I don't know how you do it. Then I just comb my eyebrows to make them look um, a little bit like less of a disaster you could say <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on and I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I just put it on my eyes to make it look like I have eyelashes. I think it's really funny, like, everyone really does have that mascara face, and it's just hilarious to me, and I don't know why, but yeah, that's my um, eyes after the mascara, and then for lips, I have to have some kind of color on my lips, or I feel like I'm dying, so I use this Sephora, like, gel liner, and I have no idea what color it is, I'm so sorry, it's like, I think there's only one red one, and I will, like, just dab it on my lips to, like, give my lips a little bit more color, and then throughout the day, if I just apply chapstick, usually the color stays, and then, yeah, now it's time for me to, well, set my face. <laughs> I use the Lancome setting spray. I really like it. It's great. And then I do my hair. All I need is a hairbrush and some dry shampoo. Of course, if my hair was like fresh, I would straighten it, but my hair was already straightened. So I just had to put some dry shampoo on it. And this stuff is literally magic. It makes my hair look so pretty every day. And I really like love that about it. So I just spray that in. And then, ta-da, my hair is done, and I'm very, very happy about it. And here's me awkwardly posing for a couple of minutes. <laughs> being happy that I'm done now it's outfit time I'm obviously not gonna wear this to school uh -uh. and I really wanted to do the spinny thing and I I'm really happy that was really magic wow I changed oh my gosh look at me I also realized that I wear the same thing to school every day I will always wear a pair of like Lululemon leggings some kind of Brandy Melville like crop top and then a jacket and then like sandals or Vans or something it is so basic and I didn't realize it but I, I wear this every day like some variation of the outfit I'm wearing I wear every day but yeah, my jacket and shirt are from Brandy. My <laughs> my leggings are from Lulu, you know, mm, so cool. And then I make coffee. I have an espresso machine, so I make a vanilla latte with soy milk every morning, and it's so magical. I'm so happy. Um, here's me, extremely happy. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not hungry in the morning, and I know I should eat breakfast, but I don't. I usually will just eat, like, a piece of fruit and usually a banana because it's all we have, but sometimes, like, berries, but... No, yeah, usually just banana. And then I just make sure that I bring my laptop, my AirPods, and then my gla my blue light glasses to school. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can notified every single time I post. Leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And also make sure you um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you notified every single time I post. Leave a like and a comment, and leave any video requests down below because I'm planning on uploading every single day until the first day of fall, which is September 23rd. So up until September 23rd, I will be daily uploading um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.